Are you about to press order on Samsung's website to order yourself a Galaxy Note 20 or Note 20 Ultra? Well, please watch this video before you make that choice because we have a few things that we should talk about. Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech so honest it hurts. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra, but I'm but from the standpoint of value for money, what you're getting with those phones versus what you can get with other phones with the similar feature sets uh, that are that are comparable. I have always been a huge fan of the Note series. I've had the Note 1, the Note 2, 3, 4, 7, uh, 8, 9, 10 plus for a little while. And the Note over the years has been the phone that for me was this is the best that Android can be. Samsung throws everything into the mix and they do their thing. And the note is the showcase phone for everything that Samsung is doing in that year. Unfortunately, in the past couple of years, they have sort of watered down the note series in a couple of different ways. Well, for one, there's, there's two notes now. Uh, one is a thousand dollars and it is nowhere near as well specced as the note 20 ultra, the note ultra phone, the note 20 ultra has all kinds of fancy bells and whistles, but this year there's not <laughs> smartphones are just not improving like they once did, you know, year over year, there the small, small changes here and there. And is it a great phone? I'm sure it's a great phone. Is it worth the $1,300 that they're asking for? I, I, I don't know because you can get a lot of other phones right now for a lot less money that have very comparable feature sets to the Note 20 Ultra and especially the Note 20. Now, what makes the difference between the Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra? A lot of it is what the Note 20 doesn't have. It doesn't have a glass back. It's made of polycarbonate along the back. It has a it has a lesser quality Gorilla Glass on the front. It has less RAM. It has no expandable storage. It has a 1080p screen that is 60 hertz, whereas the Note 20 Ultra is, is 1440p and 120 hertz. And all of this coming in to, at a price point of $1,000. Now, I have here the Note 9, which when it was brand new, the Note 9 was $1,000. And when I did my review of the Note 9, which I'll put in a card or something, you know, that you can poke on and, and go look at, but, but, but watch this video first. When I got the Note 9, it was one of the first thousand dollar phones. And it was that year, the only phone that I felt was worth the thousand dollar price tag. You were getting about that kind of value for the phone that you were purchasing. That is not the case with the, the current Note phones. It wasn't the case for the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, and it's not the case for the Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra, unfortunately. Samsung has decided to sort of water down those two phones, and I, even the S20 Ultra costs more <laughs> than the Note 20 Ultra. And basically, the, the Note series has come down to this. It is now just an S series phone with an S pen, which for some people may be enough, but for me, it's, it's just not, I love the S pen, but there's also so many other things about the original note series that just separated it from the, the other phones that Samsung was putting out. Here's the thing in 2020, you can get some really, really good phones for a lot less money than what they're asking for the Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra. You can go all the way down to the Pixel 4a, which just came out, and get a great camera, a good performing phone. Uh, you can get that polycarbonate body for a lot less money. And you can get that for $350. You can go with something like the LG V60 or the LG Velvet, and you can anywhere from $800 to $700 with a dual screen case included. 
there's just so much out there that you can get for the money that it's a, it, it just doesn't make any sense to buy either of the Note phones, but especially the Note 20 in this day and age. Samsung is living on their own planet. They are making these phones and, and charging this kind of premium for them when they're not really all that special compared to the phones that are available at much, much better prices. I'm not even going to talk about iPhones. iPhones are a different thing, but Apple uh, in the past couple of years has filled out their lineup of phones with phones that are more reasonably priced and they still have their more expensive phones, but Samsung seems to only be pushing the flagship phones, the S series, the note series. Yes, they have the a series and other things like that, but those are never talked about. Samsung never brings them out and says, Hey, check these out. Uh, because I, I just get the feeling that they want to sell the premium phones. I guess that's their prerogative. It's, you know, yeah, it makes sense. But when you can get an LG V64, 800 bucks with a dual screen case, when you can get the velvet, when you can get the pixel 4a for $350. And most importantly, most importantly, you can get the note 10 and note 10 plus, although I would recommend against the note 10, you can get the note 10 and the note 10 plus for a lot less money these days than you can the note 20 and the note 20 ultra. Uh, they are going to be several hundred dollars less expensive and virtually the same phone. There's not really going to be anything that's all that different about them. So there's an old saying out there. It holds true for televisions, holds true for a lot of things. When a brand new line of TVs, phones, whatever comes out, that is the best time to buy last year's model, because you're going to still get a lot of value out of that. It's not going to be all that much different than the one that came after it. But even with the Note 9, like I have right here, the Note 9 is still a fantastic phone. And I'm, I mean, I really, really enjoy this phone. This was my last really like the Note that I liked. It has fingerprint reader on the back. No, no under the screen fingerprint reader. There's just the cameras are still great. The performance is still great. You can get this phone renewed on Amazon and I'm sure other places, but I, I got this renewed on Amazon for $350. This phone is comparable to the Note 20 Ultra, which costs $1,300. When I got this phone, it came with plastic on it. It was basically brand new. I, if I didn't know it was a renewed phone, I wouldn't have actually been able to tell that it was a renewed phone. It was in pristine condition. And the nice thing about Amazon renewed is that they have some, some things put in place where, you know, you're going to get something with, you know, the battery life still intact and a certain level of quality. I was really impressed when I got this phone and I've been switching back to this phone and using it as my daily phone. Yeah, every couple of weeks, ever since I got it, the bottom line is this. If you can get the Note 9 for $350 and you can get the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus for a couple of hundred dollars less than what they were originally, there is no reason to go out and purchase the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 or Note 20 Ultra. There's nothing about those phones that's compelling to the point where that you should pick those over any of these other phones. Samsung has some soul searching to do when it comes to what they're doing with their phones, especially their flagship line and how they're pricing them and what kind of market they don't seem to understand what kind of market they're in. And as everybody likes to tell me like, well, you know, if you don't like it, don't buy it. Maybe this is the time to tell Samsung we don't like it by not buying it because Samsung seems to be clueless in a world where there's a global pandemic and people are losing their jobs and they're releasing premium phones uh, in excess of $1,000 uh, that aren't really all that much better than the phones that came before them. I don't, you tell me what you think. Would you buy the Note 20 or Note 20 Ultra over something that you know is maybe a year or so old, but half the price or less? I don't know. 
that's that's what I feel like is the best thing to do at this point. So let's talk down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, there's going to be other stuff, coverage of the Note 9, coverage of the Note 10, uh, some videos popping up down here that you can click on. Uh, I've got some playlists that you can look at. So please go check those out. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and bell notify yourself so you know when there are new videos coming out from the Painfully Honest Tech. Once again, my name's Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech, so honest it hurts. Until the next time. I'm out.